Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. If you guys didn't know already, Addie is three and she has type 1 diabetes. I'm going to be changing her Omnipod, uh, which is her insulin pump, while she sleeps. Now I've been sharing our journey um, having a type 1 diabetic toddler for about a year and a half now on TikTok. And recently started sharing our journey on YouTube about seven months ago. And I've gotten... An increase, of course, of negative comments, hateful comments from people. And I just want to, I guess, reintroduce myself in this video here. Mainly, I want to tell you guys how we all got here. Um, It wasn't like, oh, my daughter got a chronic illness. Let me go ahead and start a social media channel. And uh, that that's not what happened. When Addie was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, she was a year old and um, I had no idea that uh, toddlers babies could even get diabetes how does that happen I didn't understand um, apparently there's different types of diabetes um, one takes a while to get and one is kind of just rapid onset which is type 1 which is also an autoimmune disorder yeah basically she has a pancreas that does not work and so I have to use the Dexcom to monitor her blood sugars. And the Omnipod insulin pump gives her insulin for the food that she eats. Putting her Omnipod on is always uncomfortable. But when she's sleeping, she hardly feels it. Anyway, Addie was one year old when she was diagnosed. And I noticed right away giving her her insulin shots putting on her Dexacom, it was like no thing to her. She didn't cry. She didn't fuss. She was very brave in the face of it all and still a very, very happy child. I um, took a video of me putting her Dexacom sensor on, which is the glucose monitor on her belly right now. But I took a video of it kind of just explaining like a how-to. And it was really more for my family who had questions about her diagnosis, who had questions about, you know, how our lives had changed. And, and I was really um, interested in, in sharing with our family what we were doing and what I was learning. So I ended up editing a video on TikTok and uh, it took me a while to figure it out, but I, you know, got the video together, put it on Facebook. Um, I also had to post it on TikTok to post it on Facebook. So I posted it on TikTok and I remember the video got like over 100,000 views. And I was just like, what's going on? And people had questions and I was answering them. And it just kind of went off, took off from there as people had so many questions. And, you know, there were even people that had type 1 diabetes for years and, um, you know, they said they didn't know, they've never seen a child that young, like Addie, have diabetes, or, um, you know, have the Dexacom. And I think I really realized that we were impacting people when I was starting to get so many messages from people stating how their videos have helped us, or they were informative, or their type 1 diabetic toddler or kid loves watching Addie. And um, <clears throat> even some older type 1 diabetics, you know, people who have had diabetes for years, decades, um, were just really inspired by Addie's bravery and resilience. And I f discovered that having a diabetic toddler was a unique experience and that it came with its unique challenges. I didn't know where to start and I've learned some stuff and really just want to share my knowledge with other people that are going through it. I felt very lost when Addie was first diagnosed. I would love to help people out there that are going through a fresh diagnosis and need help and um, just be there for those parents or people who are struggling with this disease is super important to me. So my intention has always been to share our story, share um, our struggles and keep it real with people and what it's like to have a type 1 diabetic toddler and what it's like to be a mom with uh, you know three kids 
one's a diabetic, one's has autism, and one has ADHD, so my life is pretty busy and chaotic, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. So after some time of sharing our story, I, um, you know, TikTok blew up, um, I started posting on Instagram and YouTube last year, and that blew up as well. We've got almost half a million subscribers here on YouTube, and we've been, I've been sharing consistently for like seven months, which is huge, and I'm so happy that you guys are all here, and you guys are so supportive. So now I've reached a point where my social media platforms have a large following, and I do have brands and you know management companies reaching out for you know collaborations and opportunities for me to monetize the channels that I've grown and at first I really struggled with this because that's not why I got into this but I realized that this opportunity was a good you know chance for me to change my and my kids lives and give us a better life and so give Addie a better life so things are good right now Addie's happy my kids are happy we're moving into our own place really soon and I'm very grateful for where we are. Life has been a struggle since Addie's been diagnosed. And um, yeah, it definitely hasn't been easy. But um, sharing our story and finding others that are going through something similar and helping those people have been, have been huge. And um, really something that we're proud of. And that I know when Addie gets older, she will be extremely proud of what we've accomplished. And um, I imagine that she's going to want to keep sharing her story. So if you are one of those people that like to spread negativity and hate within my comments, I just want to say whatever you put out into the universe, the hate and negativity, it's going to come back to you tenfold. Okay? So I wish you well. Thanks for the engagement. And thanks for watching to the end of this video. I changed Eddie's pod. Got it inserted pretty quickly. And within seconds, she's over it. She's back to bed. She's asleep. Good night.